Hello everyone, I am Miss Carmen from the Pflugerville Public Library and I want to welcome you to Crafty Kitties. Crafty Kitties is a program for children ages 2 to 4. With the help of an adult, they will get a hold of materials that are hopefully readily available at home and they can follow along and complete a craft project with me. Today we will be doing a finger paint project. I just want adults to keep in mind that painting allows children an educational activity that is fun. They can use colors to express themselves even when they cannot speak. Let's get started. Very well. We're going to get started reviewing the materials that we need. We need some paint. Yes, I have little bottles of paint here. This is inexpensive paint from the dollar store. I have already poured it on a paper plate so that to make my life easier. And you'll need some construction paper. I am working on a white piece of construction paper and I used black construction paper to create a stencil. So what I like to show you is that using the stencil, which should just stay there or you can tape it with painter's tape and let the kids just use their fingers to, their fingerprints to make dots around your design with their finger paint, uh, prints. They can do it in whatever way they want. And I chose C because that's the my initial, but you can do grandma's initial, grandpa's initial, their own initial, and then they, you can put their project, finished project on display in the room. Hand-eye coordination are very important, and while you are doing something like this, you're actually working it. I'm going to use my paper towel to remove the green paint and continue my project. And if you notice, I did change my finger. So, I have primary colors here, and oops, if you have time at home, or we'll, since you'll have more time than I have on, on camera, you can mix and match the colors, mix them and ask them if they know the names of the colors or what color is the new one that will you get when you mix two colors. I am an adult and I still have issues when I work with paint, but make sure that you cover your area so that you don't have any accidents. And I'm going to give it a little bit of red too. Something else I want to remind you guys is that paint actually goes a long ways. Acrylic paint goes a long ways. Sometimes you would pour a lot thinking that you need a lot, but if you see that, I mean, I had like a quarter size um, drop of paint and that actually completed my project. All right. If you have time to let your project sit and dry before you lift the stencil, that would be fine, but if not, I'm going to do it now and hope for the best. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And even the letter turns out with color. I would say you can make stencils of anything you want. I was thinking about a sailboat, a cloud, a flower, or just like these other samples I have here, just shapes. Just let the kids um, work on their project. They can form shapes or whatever. That This one kind of looks like a sailboat, but I don't know. Um, just do shapes and let the kids have some fun. Don't forget, painting also helps the children to develop eye-hand coordination, which is super important to develop at this age. Well, thanks everybody for joining me today. Our 
finger paint project is completed. I hope yours looks nicer than mine. And don't forget, you can take pictures and send those to me. I would love to see what you guys are doing. See you here next time. Bye.